and welcome to our presentation. As a group, we have decided to reimagine the visual creation of a scene from Underline's pilot episode, Money and Shiny Things, written by Emily O'Neill. The scene we have chosen to recreate is the late night takeaway scene located at Jade Gardens Takeaway, which starts on page 12 of the piloted script. Throughout the presentation, you'll be introduced to our intentions for cinematography, sound and editing, and how we hope these creative decisions will impact the narrative arc and audience impression. In the late summer of 2008, the sun bellows down on the desert city of Las Vegas. As nighttime falls, sunlight fades on the troubled city, hidden by the charade of the illuminating casino-driven lifestyle. This troubled and gritty city is where the focus for our story lies. This can be demonstrated through my chosen colour palette. When creating my colour palette, I decided to take inspiration from Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is actually set in Los Angeles as opposed to Las Vegas, it still illustrates the humid and desert-like conditions which would fill both cities. As shown on screen, the orange tones overpower the rest of the scene. When looking at colour psychology, orange tends to be a controversial colour. Though some people believe it to be happy and welcoming, others find it overwhelming. Due to this, orange tones will be heightened in our scene, not only to reflect the desert-like suburbia, but to maintain audiences' attention. Another film which has inspired my colour palette is Todd Phillips' Joker. Send in the Joker successfully utilises complementary colours of blue and orange to produce a highly contrasted and vibrant tension in the film. Both Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Joker's colour palettes have inspired my colour aspirations for Underline. By heightening the orange and blue tones throughout the scene, whilst placing it against a desaturated background, will not only maintain our audience attention, but will highlight the despair that Ivan is facing. As Blaine Brown states in Cinematography, Theory and Practice, an image should convey meaning, mood, tone, subtext and atmosphere all on its own, highlighting the importance of getting the camera angle and movement right. When the story first starts, I intend to use mainly static long shots, displaying the location to the audience. The use of these long shots will cause Ivan to appear small in his environment, informing the audience that this is somewhere he does not belong. Once the chefs begin to question Ivan, fast-paced extreme close-ups and close-ups will be used to signify tension that is growing. This will allow the audience to feel as close to the action as possible. Throughout the entirety of the scene, I intend to use limited camera movement. As Hosea states in an introduction to cinematography, the style of how a camera moves can have a considerable effect on the viewer and can positively or negatively impact their opinion on the scene. Due to this, I think the tension in our scene would be so much better with limited camera movement. Throughout this scene, I intend to use low-key lighting to illustrate Ivan's despair and confusion. Furthermore, I believe that this low-key lighting will demonstrate the gritty and dangerous neighbourhood he finds himself in. Throughout the entirety of the scene, I intend to use a flickering hard top light as my key light. This will cast deep, contrasting shadows across the whole location. Pairing this with a subtle fill light to help illuminate the main characters, but will allow for the audience to gain more information about each of the characters. As stated, in film lighting, talks with Hollywood cinematographers and gaffers by Chris McCrowsey, fill lights will help pick up details and things you would not otherwise see, helping deliver subtle character information through their costumes, stances and facial expressions, as sometimes other sources are necessary to illuminate faces and other important details, as stated by Neil Osmond in his blog The Art of Single Source Lighting. I feel a film that has cinematically demonstrated this is Joker. Following a confrontational scene, the feeling of threats, depravity and loneliness is portrayed in Joker, in a similar way I intend for our scene. As Joker has been tormented for being himself, he begins to dance in a dimly lit bathroom. I feel like this would be a clear comparison for I Ivan's isolation, as he is clearly beginning to struggle with his sickness in a cold, dangerous neighbourhood. As the Joker appears illuminated against his shadowed background, our focus remains with him. I intend a similar effect as we keep our focus on Ivan. Overall, I believe that my colour palette, camera angles, movement and lighting choices will help portray the scene's key messages and feelings cinematically to the audience. Thank you very much for listening to my creative process. Now on to Shelby, who will take us through the sound for this scene.